Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new here, my name is Jacqueline. I'm a third grade teacher and I'm going into my second year of teaching. In this video, I am going to be walking you guys through my Bitmoji classroom and showing you guys how I created it. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you find it helpful, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. So a lot of teachers are using Bitmoji classrooms for virtual learning and it's just super fun for your students to kind of feel like they're in a classroom even if they're at home and they can click a lot of the pictures that are in your classroom and those pictures can take them to a link. So for example, you might have a math chart in your Bitmoji classroom and if they click the math chart that can take them to their math assignments. Or you may have a book. Um, in your Bitmoji classroom. And if your students click on that book, then it can take them to a read aloud of that book. It is super cool. Now for me, my students and I, we are doing in-person learning. So they will actually be coming to school, um, I think right after Labor Day, as of right now. <laughs> but if I'm being completely honest, this is just my opinion, I'm not sure that it could possibly last long. So in my opinion, I have a good feeling that, you know, we will be transitioning to virtual at some point. So I am making a Bitmoji classroom. So for the first few weeks of school, I'm really gonna be teaching my students how to access all of this, what to click on, so that just in case we go virtual, um, they will know exactly how to use this Bitmoji classroom. And I just think it's super fun. I'm just gonna be walking you through my classroom right now and show you guys how cool it is. Okay, so here is my Bitmoji classroom. I chose a whiteboard and wrote some things here. Here is my Bitmoji. And then I put some like inspirational quotes here. Here's my laptop and stuff like that. So what you're gonna wanna do first is you're gonna go to bitmoji.com. You have to have a Bitmoji already, so if you don't have one already, you might wanna make one. And then down here, you're gonna click this and then it's gonna allow you to have an extension. That way you can have it up here. So that makes it easier because you can just click on it. And then here are my options and all. And then you can just drag it like this. But that's not the one that I wanna use. <laughs> so here is my Bitmoji classroom. Um, I do have other slides here that I'm working on, but I haven't finished just because I'm waiting to start school first and go to my meetings and PDs just to get an idea of what we're doing. But as you see here, I have um, my Bitmoji classroom. Um, I have a little bit of Meet the Teacher. And here's my GIF. You can make this um, on your phone. You just take a live picture of yourself either waving or doing whatever you want. And then you're going to go to unscreen.com. And then you are just going to upload your clip here. And then here, I'll kind of give you an example. So I'm going to airdrop a live photo to my computer here. And then here it is. And then I'm just going to move it here. And then I'm just going to wait for it to download and then there it is, pretty easy. And then I'm just going to download it as a GIF or GIF. <laughs> and then there it is. I can just go here and I just go to my downloads and then just drag it. And that is that. So what you're going to do is you're going to go to your Google account. You're going to click this little waffle looking icon and you're going to go to slides. You're gonna do blank. And then here is your first slide. Now I want this slide to be blank. I'm gonna delete that one. And then I'm first gonna pick a background. So I'm going to click where it says background, choose image, and then I'm going to Google search. Floor and wall. And then here you have a whole bunch of different options. Ooh, this one's a new one that I haven't seen. Um, here is like a little corner area, but this is the one that I chose. 
Oh, this one's a cute little outdoor one. So then I'm gonna insert that one, and here it is. Now, you're gonna wanna start with the most important thing. So I thought, you know, a board <laughs> is pretty important. So I'm going to go to insert image and then search from web. And I'm always going to put transparent. So transparent whiteboard. And then you can choose any one that you want. You just wanna make sure it's transparent. So here's a random picture of glasses. This isn't transparent. But this is the one that I chose. Insert. And then you can put it however, you know, whatever size you want. And then here, take notice that you wanna put it on the floor rather than like up here. Um, you know, this looks more, I guess, 3D. And then you can just start inserting whatever you think, you know, you want to have in your classroom. So I'm going to put, um, you know, a clock. And I'm just going to click any one, whichever one you want. Maybe you want this right here. And this is pretty cool. Like, let's say you're teaching a math lesson. You can link this to, let's say... You're going to insert, and then you're going to click a link. So let's say, um, block games, I don't know. All right, so here is a clock game that, whatever, I think it's cool. <laughs> so I'm just going to copy this link, and I could paste it right here. So now I might put a bitmoji of me, let's say, pointing so here, I am just going to put this finger pointing at the clock and then I can insert some text and I can say click on the clock to tell time. You know, something like that. When you send this to your students, you know, they see this they see a link, and then it brings them straight to it. And I think that's really cool. Now, let's go back. Okay, now let's say you are doing a unit on the book because of Winn-Dixie. That's what we do in the third grades. You can go to your Google search if you don't find anything in the options that they give you. And then you can put because of Winn-Dixie. You can go to images. Okay, let's say you find the book. Here it is. I can copy the image and then come here and then paste. And here is the book because of Winn-Dixie. I can put a link to either the lesson. I can attach maybe the read aloud or I can attach the movie or maybe some questions, really anything. And then, so anyways, I came on here. Here is my Bitmoji person. I think she kind of looks like me. <laughs> then I also put transparent shelf. And then you might want to have maybe your laptop or something. I can also change the color by clicking um, format options. I can recolor it to, I don't know, maybe I want it to look like all gray. I can also change it, flip it, rotate it, um, and make it bigger or smaller. So this is kind of fun to work with as well. Maybe I want a cute sofa. <laughs> so here I have this pink sofa but I kind of want it um, facing in my direction. So I'm going to click format options and then I think it's flip. Yep. And that's cute. And then I could also have, you know, a bit moji of me sitting. <laughs> you can put some string lights, some party banners. And then I can 
and just do a text. Welcome to third grade. And then here I'll just change the font, which they don't really have the best font, but I'll take what I get. And then I'm gonna center it. Yeah, there's just so much that you can do with your Bitmoji classroom. You could have your mascot logo in your classroom and then that could bring them to your school website. I think that would be really um, handy. So that was kind of a rundown and kind of just the basics of how to use Bitmoji Classroom. So I hope that you found that somewhat helpful and hopefully you can create your own if you haven't already and if you're a teacher who might be teaching virtually this year, um, this was just a great way to do so. And yeah, I don't know if we are going to be doing Meet the Teacher in person, which is why I have this slide here, just in case we do it virtually. Um, I just have a little gif gif of me and a little just like intro and then here i'm thinking about putting a video of 10 things about me and hopefully they can send me 10 facts about them so that i can get to know them a little bit better before i meet them here i have a game of two truths and a lie um pretty much you write two things that are true about yourself and one thing that is not true about yourself and they have to guess what is not true about you so um, I put, I've been skydiving, I've been bungee jumping, and I've swam with dolphins. And one of these is not true. So you can go ahead and leave a comment below um, if you guys think you know the correct answer. And then here I have 21 questions. Last year I did this um, on the first day of school. I just allowed the students to ask me whatever they wanted, if they had a question about test or homework, doesn't necessarily mean that, you know, you'll be asked 21 questions. And then here I put my contact information, or I will put my contact information. If you watched my classroom setup, you will see that these are my exact same rules. I just screenshotted it on my computer and then um, dragged it here on this slide. So these are the exact same roles that I have in my classroom. But yeah, that is my Bitmoji classroom as of right now. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, give it a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe. See ya.